Kurt Williams. I'm an applications engineer here at National Instruments, and we're going to take a quick look at Compact DAC. So Compact DAC is a modular USB solution. It uses NI's C-Series modules. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the chassis so we can take a look at the plug-and-play feature of Compact DAC since it's USB. And like I was saying, it uses the NIC series modules, which gives you direct sensor connectivity, like this 9233, gives you direct connection to accelerometers. Um, here is a 9217, which gives direct connection to RGDs. We have modules for thermocouples and other sensors as well. You can see here, now that I have the driver already installed, I get this pop-up. I'm just going to choose to configure it in max. And so as max is coming up, We'll go ahead and take a closer look here at the module list in Max to look at how the modules are hot swappable. I'll go ahead and put my 9233 back in in slot 1. And you can see that it then pops up as my 9233. I'll pull that one and move it to slot 8. And then you can see it pops up back there on slot 8. So the C series modules give you both the added benefit of direct connection to sensors as well as the ability to customize your chassis for any solution. You could have half of it full of thermocouple modules, half with RTD, couple digital, couple analog, anything to customize for the solution that you're working on. Um, it works very similar to our M-Series technology, if you're familiar with that, except that with a few caveats you need to watch out for. Um, you have access to two counters that are in the back plane and you access those counters by using a digital module, either slots 5 or 6, and that's also how you access the PFI line, slots 5 and 6. For correlated DIO, you use slots 1 through 4, and if you're going to do analog triggering, you need to have either a 9205 or 9206, because both those modules support the analog comparison event. Um, we see Compact Deck used for a variety of applications, including everything from benchtop test to portable machine vibration monitoring, and we've even seen one that was bolted to a subway car to measure the strain as it was driving along. That's Compact Deck.